Hi, John Valvano here, and in this video, I want to show you how to do static testing, assuming you don't own a voltmeter. Okay, so I'm going to use Texas Display, and in order for Texas Display to measure voltage, we're going to tie the analog voltage here uh, to PD3 on my uh, launch pad. The second as I have to call the software and the program has to be running. Okay, so here's my DAC. There's my 4-bit resistor DAC. And here are the four digital signals from PB0, 1, 2, and 3. That's these four wires here. And again, this is my analog output, which is tied to PD3. Uh, and the switches are up here. We'll talk about them in the next video. All right. Uh, over in Kyle, I'm going to run a program called Lab 6 Static here. And as you can see, uh, this will initialize Texas with the scope. It's going to uh, set up PF uh, to be my switches. Uh, it's going to run my solution to DAC and it. So it's going to initialize port B as an output. And, um, uh, and then this particular program is going to run continuously. And what it will do is it will check for the switches. Now, if I touch one of the PF switches, it's going to jump into this part of the loop and output a new value to the DAC. Uh, this, uh, this is complicated process is required because in order for me to use Texas uh, oscilloscope voltmeter, I need to be running with interrupts enabled. All right. Uh, and so that's what this logic is going to do. It's going to check my port F input. If it is now different and now pressed, it will then increment um, the data from 0 to 15. And this is my solution to DAC out. You have to write your own, of course, uh, and that's the purpose of the lab. And in this test, we're going to do what's called a static test. All right, so build, uh, download, okay, uh, debug. Okay, again, in order to use the voltmeter, uh, you, you have to be running the launch pad code. So I'm going to run it right here. Uh, and down here, I'm going to be able to see the test data. All right, so now over in uh, Texas Display, uh, I'm going to have to attach uh, to the COM port on my computer. It's COM port 29. And then I'm going to set up the, um, set up the uh, oscilloscope as the output. Okay. And so what I can do is now I can see uh, and record the value for each of the outputs. Okay, so I'm going to press a button. Yeah, press a button. And down here you can see that I've got a zero as my digital value. So I'm going to go over to my Excel sheet and I'm going to put in the number that I read off of Texas Display. 0 0.00. All right. Push the button. And this went to a one right there. And that went to a point two two. Okay. Push the button. Uh, it went to a point four four. Push the button. It went three. The, you can see the output is a three. My voltage went to zero point six six. Now it's not a very fancy voltmeter, but it's good enough. Zero point eight eight. And see, what I'm doing is um, uh, down here, I can see the digital value. Uh, over here in Texas, I can see the analog value. Uh, and then one by one, between 0 and 15, I'm doing a static test. Um, I can see down in the plots. So far, so good. It looks pretty linear. Now, it's not perfect. It is only a 4-bit DAC. Okay. Um, okay. 1.53, about halfway through. Uh, 1.75. Again, what I have down here is the digital value. What I'm measuring there is the analog value. Oh, 1.97. Oops, spelled it wrong. Two point four one, two point 
Again, so before you uh, make try to make sound, we want to make sure your DAC is linear, okay? And that means that the, as the uh, digital value increases, the uh, analog value measured here on PD3 and Texas display uh, is corresponding to the digital value. One more. All right. But, uh, you can see it didn't quite get the three. 0.29. Okay. All right. So let's look at my results. This is my static test. This is required for uh, lab six. Uh, this was the measurements I just did right here. Uh, this was the expected theoretical value. And I could see that there was a difference. It wasn't a lot. Um, and my average accuracy, the difference between expected and measured, was about six millivolts. Uh, and the resolution uh, was range divided by um, uh, precision or the, the average difference as I increase the analog value one at a time. Okay, and you can see it was a pretty linear fit uh, between the digital value here, um, which gave us the expected output and the measured output. All right. So in summary, what I did is before I um, try to generate sound, what I'm going to do is do a static test. Now in this video, we did the static test assuming you didn't have a voltmeter. If you do have a voltmeter, watch the other video. It's a little bit uh, more accurate. All right. Uh, enjoy, lab, uh, enjoy lab six. Uh, students find this lab the most fun. <laughs>